Today we're talking about nice guys and how they finish last. Mm. 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 I don't know. I just feel like that statement out the gate sounds very victim minded. Um, I don't feel like nice guys always finish last, so I don't necessarily want to lead the conversation. So one of you nice guys, go. Ahead. I feel like uh, they do. Alfonso, let's talk this way because you <laughs> niggas is not nice. <laughs> oh, it's right, you got him leading the conversation. Yeah, he should lead the conversation. Come on, come on. No, nah, I, f- I feel like they they do finish last in, in certain in certain aspects. What you mean? I mean, you know, it's been my experience. I like to think that I'm a pretty nice guy, and I've dealt with uh, some females in my in my past life that, you know, you give them everything, you try to treat them right, and you still finish last. I've were experienced you, that. Now, now, when you say you was dealing with females, do you feel like you were dealing with the right type of women? No, no. Now, now that I'm, you know, older and looking back, I know now that they weren't the right type of women. But when you and, you know, this was in my 20s and, and late teen mm-hmm. years, so when you don't know what you don't know, you can yeah. only go off of what you experience. It's been my experience that that's been the case until I got later in life. So were you finishing last or were you just not compatible with those people? Nah, not compatible. <laughs> what are we considering compatible. a nice guy? I, let's talk about that because I feel like a lot of the people that think they're nice really be like, you're, you're, you're not. So let's, what, what do you think a nice guy is? Um, <laughs> that's a touchy topic. Like, it's hard. It's different types of nice. Okay. okay. So you can have a guy that's nice to you, mm-hmm. that caters to you, um, courts you, pays for things, all around gentlemen, but is an asshole to everybody else yeah. they come across, right? Okay. I've dealt with that. And then you can have a guy that's nice and he's a pushover mm. and he's too nice. So mm-hmm. now he doesn't know how to be assertive. Mm-hmm. He doesn't know how to be aggressive when you need aggression. He doesn't know how to lead properly. When do you need aggression? Mm. That's a good question. I might want you to be aggressive when we're sexually active. Mm-hmm. I might want you to be a little aggressive when I feel like somebody is fucking bothering me. And I might want you to go upside their head. It just so you want them to crash situation. out? I don't want you to crash out. Yeah, it looks like. I feel like... So, <laughs> <laughs> so hear me but out. I don't want to feel like you won't protect me in certain situations. And that, but I think, but, but part, part of protection... Is telling you that you shouldn't even be in that situation in the first place. Yeah. Don't Y'all seen so that post now, that went viral about that? So now you put yourself in, in, in crash out mode, and now he in a, in a between a rock and a Can hard place. Can we talk about that real quick? Because he got to deal with your problems of not being paying attention and doing what the fuck I told you to do in the first that's, place. That's so good. this week I had a situation going on where it was like some some low vibrational grown men trying to come at me right online. And when I tell y'all, I didn't take a speck of that to my husband because I know not to put my husband in a situation that is going to compromise what it is we have going going on and what we're going yep. to. Unless a grown ass man is physically in my face about mm-hmm. to harm me, I'm not telling my husband what's going on on no bullshit internet stuff mm-hmm. because I'm not about to have my husband crashing out and ruining his future and our future. Yeah. Yeah. He got three kids to take care of. He got a wife to take care of. A mama. Uh, a grandma and in-laws who houses we pay bills at. Yeah. I don't have time for this man to be sitting around on the internet typing and arguing with people and then creating beef. So now when he out in the streets, he possibly in danger. I don't have time for that. Oh no, I Things definitely don't, don't want you to be messy. A lot of yeah, women, a lot messy. of women don't own up to that and won't. They don't yeah. respect that. I seen, um, and it's always like social media, social media will really show you where people's mind frames are. Absolutely. And I say that because I saw a post and I shared it. And when I say I got ate up in the comments. <laughs> because basically a girl screenshotted a conversation between her and a guy she was dating. Mm-hmm. So apparently she went out and got into an argument with a man, mm-hmm. got to arguing with him and stuff like that. And then um, I guess like he tried to get physical with her. Mm-hmm. So she ended up leaving the club or whatever. Her friend stayed, she left. She ended up texting the guy that she was dating, telling him about what was going on. Instead of him jumping to her defense, he said, First of all, you wasn't even supposed to be there tonight. Yep. Yeah. Now that's secondly, different. secondly, why would you argue with the man in the club and yep. I'm not there? Yep. Yeah. Third of all, why would you argue with the man in the club? Period. You don't know this man. You don't know what he got outside in this trunk. You don't know nothing. So basically, he told her, you're wrong. You know, you don't listen. Mm-hmm. You're At this point, I don't even want to deal with you no more because you won't even allow me to leave. You don't listen to nothing that yeah. I say. Yep. I'm not about to lose my future. I'm not about to lose my life yep. because I'm defending you when you decided to be dumb in that moment. They don't look at you so, like a weak man no, not, not really because I, I, I'm going to say this and it takes growth and maturity because young me, young minded yeah. me would have been like, you're supposed to crash out over me, yeah. right? No, but grown out. woman me who has goals and aspirations and things to lose and just not, not there anymore. You yep. feel me? 
I'm like, he's right. So when I reposted it, I said, I don't see anything wrong with what he said. When I say I realized what my following was full of as well. Yeah. Yeah. Because when they came down on them comments, girl, I ain't no man about to talk to me like that. I said, he didn't say nothing wrong. What was so disrespectful? He, he think he running her. But that's, I said, why they, but that's why they're single and that's why they won't yeah, have that's, a man. They that's, in a relationship, yeah, I guess like uh, how, whatever was going on, they had previously talked about it and she wasn't even supposed to be at the club. Yeah. yeah. Per his request. You yeah. feel me? I heard it was going to be a wild party. You shouldn't be there. Yeah. I know you want to hang with your friends, but go to brunch. Yeah. You don't always have to be in them type of situation. Yeah. She snuck, well, she went anyway. Yep. But it and sounds it, like they don't even need to be together. That's Not why he real, That's why he broke up with her. Yeah. Yeah. And like, they was like, that's a weak way out just because he didn't want to defend her. No. And I just was like, women, women's idea of protection is messed up. It's, it messed, it's, a, me it's, it's a very skewed, it's a very skewed, skewed situation. Go ahead, Tukai. I've been putting predicaments like that. Like when you tell your girl, don't jump the fence because this was gonna happen. But when she do jump the fence and get bit by a dog, they still want my protection. Yeah. Mm. But see, like, it's the consequence is always different. Like, you beefing with this girl is gonna lead into a fight. Yeah. Me and him beefing, probably yeah, end up to a shootout. Yeah. 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 Like, they don't take no measurements and, and suck me down. But I don't I don't think that most women really respect the man that they with anyway. Oh, that's I sucks. think I no, really. I think that a lot of times women will respect a man that's outside of their relationship before they respect the guy that they with. Why do you think? What? That? You know what? 100%. I can't. I'm not. 100%. I'm not going to push against that. What I actually will do was add to that. When JT and I first got back together, I was. I had like a, a roster of dudes, right? You know, yeah, 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 and I looked at JT and I looked at my phone and I looked at JT and I said, I walked in here with this man. I'm not about to get up and go to a, go to another man's table and speak to them and whatnot. Yeah. That's embarrassing. That was the first time I respected a man like that. Oh, wow. You know, so you saying that a lot of women are with men that they don't respect. I agree with you on that because even being in relationships before that, I never cared to respect no man because I knew they wasn't my, my forever mate. I didn't care about, oh, oh, you, you don't like when I do this? Boy, I don't give a fuck. A, a lot of <laughs> girls wind up getting into a relationship with a guy that they settled for. It's not yeah. even a guy that they want. That, that part. I think a lot of times when just talking about respect, I think people see respect differently. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's important you have that conversation with your partner. Yeah. Okay, what do you think is disrespectful? What don't you like? You know what I'm yeah. saying? What is a trigger for you? You know what I'm saying? What is... Remind you of a traumatic experience so that I'll make sure I don't do those things. Even then, people though, don't have those sometimes people don't know until it happens. Yeah. Yep. You don't know that it's a trigger for you until it happens. Yeah. You know, I'm even at, at my grown age, it's things that being in the entertainment industry and being in a relationship, whew, it's something different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and I say that because although you're doing Sucks. your job, you get what I'm saying, it's still a respect level. And I had learned, like recently, it was just like a small disagreement, but I knew that I was growing because, like you said, we have situations where we be argumentative. For me, it was always my guard was up and I got to go against what you're saying because I feel like this is what I want to do. Yeah. So my situation, which I'm not afraid to say what it was, I had a photo shoot and I had a photo shoot with characters that were my opposite. So in the movie, I deal with both of them. One of them was my ex. The other one was somebody that I was married to. But we had a situation where I didn't know who I wanted to deal with. So we're at the photo shoot and we're taking pictures. You get what I'm saying? So it was a pose that I did. That wasn't very appropriate. But in my head, the photographer is saying, what would you do if you, well, how, how would a woman show she's dealing with two different men, you yeah, know? Yeah. And then it, it just so happened that a video was made while we we're doing that and it hit the internet. And he like, what the fuck is this? And immediately I jumped on the fence. I'm working. But then I had to listen to what he said and I thought about it. Let me flip this. Because if it was me, what the fuck are you doing? You know? Yeah. So I just, I had to apologize and say, I'm sorry. Even though I fucked up this time, I know better now. It won't happen again, you know? Yeah.